RoboCup SG, we are group CSR2, and our group ID is SG1803. I am Eugene, and my teammate is Josiah. We are students in Anderson Secondary School, and are members of the Robotics Club in our school. Josiah has previously participated in a Lego Mindstorm based competition called NRC. However, both of us do not have any prior experience in competitions using the Code Space Simulator. We participated in the Code Space Under 19 Challenge. One of the major challenges we faced was that our robot moved too slowly while in the swamp land, wasting valuable time and thus decreasing the maximum points that we could collect. To solve this issue, we add a code so that the robot will turn away when it neared the perimeter of the swamp land, or move and turn faster if inside swamp land. As a result, the robot no longer wasted as much time in the swamp land, allowing us to improve our score to 890 and 720 in preliminary rounds 1 and 2 respectively. We are quite satisfied with our results and are happy to have a second chance in the finals to do our best and to get as many points as we can. The challenge mission is to collect as many points as possible by collecting and depositing as many blocks as possible within the time limit. The challenge task can be broken down into many mini tasks. These mini tasks include picking up the blocks, depositing the blocks, and avoiding traps and borders. However, there needs to be a certain order to these mini tasks or else the robot will get disoriented. These small tasks, when completed together, will contribute to the success or even failure of the run. For example, should the robot fail to locate the deposit zone and deposit the objects on board, the robot will not be able to get enough points. However, if the robot is able to consistently deposit objects, it will boost the points by quite a bit. To start off, we aim to collect six objects. After collecting six objects, we aim to object locate the deposit zone. After depositing, if our robot deposited a set of RCB, the robot will try to locate the super object location and pick it up. Then, the cycle continues. If at any time the robot senses the trap or it realizes that it is near the border, it will turn away. When we had problems remembering how to program any of the basic codes, we referred to a video for the basic codes. This is a picture of a simple flowchart we made to show how our program works at the, at the basic level. Our robot somewhat went according to plan. The basic code that we had prepared in advance had worked and all we had to do was update the ranges for the object colors. However, later on, when we tried to add some innovations to boost our points a little, they would have many small issues that we would need to fix and when used, would not earn as many additional points as we had expected, thus wasting our time and giving us less time to find good runs. We were satisfied with the results as we had aimed for a score in that range. We had slightly lower standards as compared to some other participants participants as we use block code instead of C code, which severely limits what we can do with our robot. Thus, getting decent scores was quite an achievement for us. Should we have another chance, we will, we will aim to improve on our consistency. Our program was rather hit or miss, and consequently, we were forced to spend more time on grinding results out for groups runs. In total, we spent about 13 hours trying to get good runs with higher points than previous runs from, for the two preliminary rounds. In this competition, we have learned about perseverance. During the preliminary rounds, we confined ourselves to grinding out the best results we could get from the robot and the code that we had written, and, and eventually managed to get good runs that we could use. To all other participants, we would like to tell you not to push yourselves too hard as competitions aren't just about the results, and that they are also about the learning process. As long as you can answer when someone asks you what you have learned, it was time well spent, whether you won or lost. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.